Hi, this is Miko, Poppy's Guitar. So for today, I'm gonna be doing a little demo. I'm privileged actually to get uh, stuff from my clients uh, when they send me the, uh, gu uh, their guitars to work on. I get really expensive stuff that I've never even heard of. We're gonna be checking out a set of pickups which I'll be installing on a, on a Fender Strat. Here's the thing, uh, when it comes to pickups, I thought uh, in US dollars, like uh, $300 or $400 for a set of guitar pickups are, are already expensive. Well, I was wrong. Pickups can go higher. Uh, and, it, and, and for me, it's like it's uh, kind of hard to believe. Well, when, I, when my friend told me about these pickups and I saw the price, I was like, what the... The pickups I'm talking about are Ron Ellis guitar pickups, uh, 50, 60 Strat, and a Fat B. I, I have no idea what these are. And these things uh, are around $1,198. And there's still no shipping to the Philippines. So if you're in the US, no problem, I guess. But still, for the price of these, it's like whoa! It's like uh, like somebody commented uh, on one of my posts. It's equal. It's the price is equal to to three three of his guitars. And what also what I found out about these pickups, uh, it's like a three year wait for pickups. So we're gonna do unboxing. So I'm not gonna lay it down or anything. Check it out. So the guitar we're gonna put it in here is in this one. It's a Fender Strat. I don't know. I already refretted this once. But anyway, back to the pickup. So unboxing. Uh, do I need to wear gloves with this? But anyway, that's a box. That's nicely neat. And then I dropped something. Here's the box. So we just do the unboxing here. So it's just a okay, box and um, the tubes and a capacitor. Um, I think these are like... I have no idea what are these called. I don't know if the camera is focusing correctly. So these are inside screws and the cap. Sorry, I'll get the pickups out. So basically, there's no instructions inside. This is just a plain box, and these are the pickups. So my friend, the owner, I guess he hasn't opened these yet. So 50, 60, and fat. So we'll just pick, take a peek. We'll just check one pickup. So me just thinking about it, um, I don't know how to do justice in its own sound comparison. Because, uh, you know, being in the Philippines, so we're not fortunate enough to get those expensive amps and stuff, you know. So practically here in the shop, I just uh, use a Boss Katana and uh, an old Laney 2x12 cabinet for uh, my prized possession, uh, the Vi Legacy Cab uh, 4x12. So I'm, those are the only things I've got. But mostly, since uh, COVID happened, I've been mostly using the neural DSP stuff. But anyway, let's take a peek. Okay, These are... I just hope I don't drop it though. So this is uh, the middle pickup. This is a Ron Ellis, a 5060. So you know it's really handmade. See? A Ron Ellis. And a 5060. So these are really... Yeah, it's nicely made. I, sorry, I, I can't tell you much 
because I, I don't really know about pickups but shout out to uh, no, to my friend uh, Mong of Montances Guitar Tech he knows pickups and he's actually curious about these also maybe in the future my, uh, my friend and the owner of the guitar and these pickups can send it to him the guitar so he could check it out so this is the middle pickup I don't know with with its price so yeah I'm ex I'm probably looking for some swag or something like, uh, some some stickers you know the, the, the usual swag stickers a manual um, maybe a t-shirt you know enough for me though and maybe I don't know what you guys think well anyway um, the best I can do and I hope I do justice with this I'm gonna play the guitar um, recording with my boss katana and then the cleanest setting I could find and I'm gonna use my BB preamp for the overdrives so then I'm gonna use the microphone camera to record that first wait 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 I'm gonna do that make uh, for example you're listening you're watching it live on live uh, in YouTube or something live recording the sound this just the mic and then I'm gonna record it again using my interface and probably I'm gonna choose uh, the best neural DSP plugin uh, cleanest amp I could find and I'm gonna install I'm gonna use my BB preamp again running running through that so we're gonna get uh, two cleans from the mic for the camera and then from the interface so the interface that's gonna be the, the pure signal and everything goddamn dogs probably lunch time but anyway um, you're gonna see me probably in two different t-shirts because I'm gonna do all the dirty and cleans with this camera right now with the dogs barking so without further ado, I'm gonna use this guitar and I'm gonna be using the same strings as well. I'm going to try to do everything as best as possible uh, to do justice with the pickups. So we'll find out if it's worth it with that price range. Because I myself am curious. But anyway, let's begin.
Okay, so now I'm in my, my daughter's room uh, because it's kind of quiet here. So I'm going to be using my Focusrite uh, Neural DSP um, Plini. So I used the cleanest I could find that could uh, kind of replicate what I have downstairs, which is my Boss Katana head. And I'm going to be still using my BB preamp, which is down there. The speaker you hear, you see here, um, you won't be hearing this. This is just for my ears. So the signal you'll be getting is from here when, uh, when everything is edited, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start the recording. I'm gonna do the same thing in the cleans and the chicky chickies and the gains and, you know, uh, overdrive tones and, you know, this and that. So we're going to start with the bridge. Now I'm gonna go downstairs again, then I'm gonna install the new pickups in. So I'm gonna get the same measurements, the heights of these to match everything. Alright? See you downstairs. Okay, we're back in the shop. So this is the inside of the the strat. So we're gonna be changing this one and this three. This three pickups. Okay, I just discovered something. Um, the bridge pickup of the Ron Ellis. Remember the the previous video of I, I showed the middle pickup of the Ron Ellis. It's kind of copper looking, right? So the bridge in the middle are they look that way, but for the I mean, for the middle and the neck they look that way, but for the bridge, it's kind of 
I don't know, darker. And they are, and the color of this one, it looks like uh, the same as the stock pickups. So this is the bridge one, the bridge, the, the stock bridge pickup. They look a bit similar. Probably the same, same kind of wire. Well, anyway, I'll just finish it and we'll go, we'll go to the tones, okay? Thanks. All right, uh, the pickups are in. Uh, yep, they're in. So why is my wiring this way? It's kind of messy. Well, the owner doesn't want me to cut the wires. So just in case the time comes that uh, he's gonna sell it, uh, there's a lot of wire to work with, okay? So the, the cap's in. I don't know, it's also a 47, I believe. And yeah, the pickups there. Run LS 5090, 5090, and this one is the fat. Oh, there's a fat one there. Wait, is it focusing? There, fat. Like me. Right, I'm just gonna close her up and set her up, and let's do the tones. Right. So we're done. Um, the Run Ellis pickups are already inside this guitar. So after setup, let's go try it out. So we're gonna record this first uh, with the camera mic, and then later I'm gonna go back to my daughter's room. Uh, we're gonna use the Neural DSP, the, the interface, so you get every nice bits and details. Hey, right, let's start. <laughs> Still the same strings, still the same setup, and using the same pick. some overdrive. Same settings on the pedal. So I'm back in my daughter's room. Um, so we're gonna do the interface sound of the Ron Ellis pickups, naman. So same thing. This Roland's this Roland's uh, speaker thingy is just for my ears. So what you guys will be hearing is what's gonna be recorded here. All right. 
right, so get things started. Do some chicky chicky. All right, here we go.